Hello there, thanks for coming by PosterCentral.com's video blog today. I'm Pete Howard and uh, Cream was my first major crush after growing up with the Beatles. This is 1968, just um, the lovely Los Angeles concert poster by John Van Hammersveld, a nice horizontal thing with very familiar artwork because it was repurposed decades later for the cover of their Live at Royal Albert Hall DVD when they uh, reunited. Um, but anyway, 1968 for this one, March 15th to be specific, and uh, uh, Cream at San Fernando Valley State College. And guess what? I went there too. <laughs> I went to Valley State, it was called, in the 60s. And in the early 70s, they changed their name to Cal State Northridge. Cal State University at Northridge, because they always have been in, indeed, Northridge, California. But back then, it was SFVSC, San Fernando Valley State, and here was Cream playing in the gym. And it was um, really, you know, just really wonderful timing in their in their career, right? Dis the Disraeli Gears Tour, their 1967 second album, which was a psychedelic masterpiece just on the cover, never mind the songs. And at this point, Sunshine of Your Love, their signature song, was still a hit. I remember, I remember well, I wasn't old enough to go to the show, I wasn't driving, but Sunshine of Your Love just went on forever and ever on the radio, like Boss Radio KHJ. Just played it for months and months, and so it was still a hit. So what a great time for a poster for Cream, right? And you know what's neat? You can see the opening act here is Canned Heat. And Canned Heat below, um, you see right there below the guy's chins, especially Jack Bruce there in the middle. Um, Canned Heat was a great time for their career, too. They were, um, just the month before, Boogie with Canned Heat had been released, and that'd be their highest charting album of their career. And later in 68, later this summer, they'd have the hit single On the Road Again, which practically defined the generation... Um, by being, um, uh, you know, just it's just a classic, you know, it's a classic single. Let's just leave it at that, I guess. I don't get too carried away with uh, with these things. Um, so it's a and and so it's got two neat artists on it. Although it's obviously a cream concert poster, and it's paper, not cardboard. Measures 14 by 17 inches. And uh, Van Hammersfeld in, uh, introduced or rather included a couple of interesting little things. To me, the funnest, oddest thing is down below the date and time here. Um, it's sort of every so often you find something on a concert poster that says something, it states the obvious that almost every other concert poster could also state but, um, but doesn't. And here it says, for late comers, the cream goes, apostrophe S, last. There's a lot, a lot of little problematic things with that, but I, I just wonder how, let's see if I can give you a close up on this, get it right underneath the date there. For late comers, the cream goes last. I mean, how did that make canned heat's management feel? You know, oh, it's okay to just wander in, you know, after the show started. Don't worry, cream is closing if they go last. But what can I say? It was, it was just um, probably just an offhand, flip, cute, naive comment that looks really cool on the poster now. So um, that's just fine. Now, what's interesting about this is when I, um, when I first got it, I thought, gee, is this a real, you know, original concert poster made before the show to sell tickets? Because I sort of worried a little bit down there in the um, down there in the corner. If I can hold it still enough, it says copyright 1968 Pinnacle, distributed by Personality Posters. And I was like, wow, you know, the very definition of a personality poster is one that was made to be sold in head shops and department stores and mail order. Um, so I got a little worried about that. I thought maybe this was a reprint, and the first one didn't say, you know, distributed by. I mean you know, distributed sort of doesn't mean hang up in record stores to sell tickets. It sort of means, you know, sold and distributed. But but all the evidence I had also indicated that this wasn't, it's not nearly common enough to have ever been sold in stores or anything. So guess what? I tracked down the poster artist, John Van Hammersveld, who was very cool and very nice to respond to me right away. I sent him a picture and I said, John, is this, you know, was this made before the show to sell tickets? And it's funny, his first email back was very brief. He just said, funny to see it. Um, it's real. JVH. <laughs> Being a collector who's trying to get to the bottom of the story, just it's real wasn't enough. And so I, um, I emailed back and I said, Hi John, thanks for answering. When you say it's real, does that mean it's the absolute first printing done before the show to sell tickets? Because um, neither of your Hendrix or Jefferson Airplane at the Shrine Auditorium posters from a month earlier, February of 68, have the distributed by personality posters credit on there only the second printings onward do. So it still sort of fell together chronologically. He started using this not in February, but yes, in March, but I wanted to find out and confirm. And John was nice enough to write back very clearly. He said, 
Again, seeing the picture, this said, yes, it's the absolute first printing done before the show to sell tickets. So there we have it, right in the horse's mouth. That was nice to get that confirmation. Great poster. I really like it. I love the psychedelic design. It's just, it's really, it's a real winner from the 60s. And uh, if you like Cream at all, or of course, Eric Clapton there, um, you know, it's really a nice piece to have in your collection. And a final bit of throwaway trivia, Mark McGrath of the rock band Sugar Ray, um, and uh, the TV personality as well. He was born on this date, on March 15, 1968. I don't know if he was in Southern California, born there or not, but whenever I hear things like that, I'm thinking, there's no question, McGrath has to have one of these framed on his wall. I mean, I wish there was something cool for my birthday, to, a concert poster, but um, this, this would be a nice one to have as your birthday on your wall, wouldn't it? So, anyway, Great Cream Poster 68, San Fernando Valley State, and that rhymes. Thanks a lot for dropping by. Great to show it to you, and have a good day. Bye-bye.